Please be aware, Venom Doxy is not responsible for game crashes, lost save game files, or damage to your PC. Remember, we're modding. Mod at your own risk and always make sure you make backups to your game files before watching my LSPDFR tutorials. Thank you, enjoy my video. Yo, what's up YouTube? Venom Doxy here with another video for you guys today on LSPDFR. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install OpenIV. It is a program that we need to go ahead and put in different types of mods like vehicles or lighting or graphics so oh also EUP as well I did a video on that um, but I'm gonna get more detailed into how to actually install OpenIV from the download to the finish and then also how to put the mods folder in OpenIV with the update to RPH or RPF I'm sorry so here we go um, we're gonna get right into that by going to the link in the description which is gonna take you guys over to OpenIV go ahead and hit download All right, once it's done downloading, you can just go ahead and open up the setup. Uh, we're gonna choose your language. Hit accept. Um, yeah, we're just, just pick where you want to install it. And then hit continue, let it go ahead and install. All right, now once it's done, we're gonna have to create a file path. So we're gonna go ahead and close out of it. And then we're gonna uh, close out of this web browser. And then we're going to go to OpenIV, click on it. Alright, when it comes up, you're going to want to hit Grand Theft Auto 5. And then it's going to want you to pick a file path. So, if you guys don't know your file path, if you guys are using Steam, you are going to click on Steam, and then you're going to go to Library. And then you're going to right-click on Grand Theft Auto 5, go to Properties, and then go to Local Files, and then hit Browse, and then it'll take you to your, your uh, game's main directory. Now, this is where you need to be for OpenIV. So... What we're going to do is we're going to hit browse and open IV. Now mine is located in a, a USB drive, so it's not going to be in programs or Windows C or anything like that. So just keep that in mind. Your guys' will probably be in Windows C and it's going to probably be underneath Steam. Alright, so anyway, my file path is Steam Libraries, Steam Apps, Common, and then... I have multiple versions here because you always want to keep a backup so keep that in mind also make sure you have a backup of your Grand Theft Auto 5 before you add any types of modded cars, EUP, clothing because it will crash your game and then it's over with so anyway we're going to pick the file path that we want to use which is Grand Theft Auto 5 select folder and then go ahead and hit continue okay it says don't forget to back up your original files before editing just like I just told you guys see hit continue Alright, once it's done, it's going to open up. Alright, there it is. Now it's open up. Now I already have a mods folder in here, but you guys won't have a mods folder. So all you got to do is uh, make sure you go right here to where it says tools. Go to ASI manager. And then make sure you guys have all of these installed, okay? And then hit close. Now, if any of these say uninstall or you, or if any of these say you need to install them, then um, yeah, they they're not gonna be. It's not gonna show a mods folder unless you put a mods folder in yourself through the directory. So keep that in mind. Make sure these are all three of these are installed, so that way you guys do get the mods folder if you're doing this from scratch. Okay, so now once you are inside your mods folder, um, once it's created, I typically close out of OpenIV because at this point I'm done. What I do now is I open up my main game directory through the file explorer. So I'll go to my main game directory. And then when I get inside my main game directory, what I do is I take update in 64. So I take these two files right here, update in 64, and then I copy these. And then I would go into my mods folder, and then I would paste them in here, okay? Just right click and then paste them in here now that's typically how I get my update in my time 64 to go into open IVs mod folder so I hope this tutorial helped you guys if it did don't forget to hit the like button hit subscribe and that bell for notifications and until the next video I'm gonna see y'all later